All right, guys. So after a lot of trial and error, I finally got this, and it's pretty accurate. Uh, in most cases, in almost all cases, it's less than, it's well under a degree off. So that right there is uh, uh, almost as low as a tenth of a degree. Closer to a fifth of, de of a degree, I guess. Um, so right there, 0.36. Right there, 0.67. That's 0.77, and then it drops when you start getting closer to the top. So if you're aiming up and over to the right, in some cases it might be as high as like 0.8 maybe, worst case scenario. 0.9, okay. So that's pretty accurate. Right here, this one's a little less accurate. It goes up to about 1.25. But that's still pretty accurate. And then uh, the, the one-handed pistol is pretty accurate. I might revisit the rifle and try to get it more accurate. Uh, I don't know why it's less accurate than uh, the pistol. Maybe it was because of the way that I did it. The engine kept crashing while I was trying to make them, uh, those poses. So uh, I might have overlooked something due to all the crashing. It was some weird uh, tick event bug. I don't know. Real weird, but it kept crashing. So, obviously, when you're turning and he's pulling his hand back like that, or you know, like you're going to be pretty off uh, whenever you're doing stuff like that, obviously. Um, also, uh, something you should know is that the lean does make it slightly less accurate. And so I have that disconnected right now. I might look into that if it's too bad. Uh, last time, I haven't checked it, so let's see. It's Yeah, okay. When you're looking down, yeah, there's a problem right there. That's caused by the lean. And I can prove it. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the cause by the lean. Maybe I'm wrong. I think I narrowed it down to being the lean the last time. Yeah. It, it, it's a stupid teleport thing. So I'm over here trying to show you guys this. Yeah. So, so as you can see, that's caused by the lean. Because it's, it's very accurate when that's disconnected. So I'll have to look into this. It probably has something to do with the way they did their lanes, and I may need to redo them. Yeah, so it looks... It looks like the arms might actually be moving slightly. Um, now, the reason why this don't look right is because we don't have a preview pose. And let me just say idle. Um... Let's see. Yeah, so it does look like like the hand the arms are moving in that. So what I'm gonna do is in the next update, what I'm probably going to have to do is I'm gonna have to go back and I'm gonna have to remove that those rotational offsets on the arms so that it doesn't rotate the arms because if it rotates the arms 
that's what's going to cause that problem uh, whenever you're aiming. As you can see, it does some funky stuff to the arms. So, uh, yeah, another alternative would be to actually move that pre this but i don't know what kind of effect i think i tried that and i don't think it worked i think it caused more problems let's try it yeah actually that kind of fixed it So I'm going to leave it there then. Okay, well that fixed that problem. What I'm actually going to do is let's just try moving it up here. And, and let's make sure it's still going to work fine from there. Yeah, so it's still working. Uh, so that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. Yeah, so I'm going to actually... I don't know what to do about this comment. So, um, I don't know. I'll do something with, with that comment later, but there you go. That's fixed. Uh, let's see. I can... Remove that. So, moving on. Our aim offset is actually right here, and there's a reason I put it right here. And the reason why is because midway, the hands come off the rifle if he's holding a two-handed rifle. And I want the hands to stay where they are in this pose relative to the uh, the other hand. Uh, and, that's, and so, over in this one, I'm... Still layering, uh, well, that's for the fingers. The fingers will get placed where they are in this pose. Uh, if that helps. It probably won't happen, but it, it does help prevent, like, the fingers from being additively applied uh, during the aim offset. Uh, this right here uh, is actually what's correcting the IK and it's taking it directly from the overlay state uh, and that's the reason why i put this right here rather than right here or inside of here so that's where it was at uh, this stuff right here is deprecated i'll probably remove that in a later one but i'll leave it there for now And I'll have to remove that other stuff too. So the blend space thing, uh, I I couldn't I couldn't do it accurately from the blend space. So that's deprecated, guys. Uh, my method requires spine rotation to be done from here, and the reason why is because it's just very accurate. Uh, the way that it does it is is just very accurate. So that's the way we're we're going to have to do it if we want it to be very accurate. I tried doing doing it using this method for the up and down. Uh, I tried to do the left to right uh, using uh, using uh, this method right here, and I got mixed results. It I may revisit that later, but this is the uh, right here. This is uh, an anim layer called Pitch AO, and this is where the pitch happens. So. That's why I have this should move here for for the uh, pistol because the pistol has he's holding it with two hands whenever he's not moving and he's holding it with one hand when he is moving which is why I have this here and two for the pistol and so I'll just bring this down here and I'll just comment this pistol.
and this is M4A1. And then right here, based off of that, if he wants to aim, that's only, we're only applying this when we want to aim. So as far as um, the other stuff, I should mention if you do add, if he's holding it with his right arm and you add secondary motion, if you, even if it's 10% secondary motion, if you add secondary motion, it's going to offset your aim offset. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that. That's just uh, how the secondary motion works. Whenever you apply it onto there, things are going to get offset um, based on the lo underlying locomotion uh, animations. So on all of those, I turned that off. I, I just I have no secondary motion on those arms holding the weapon. Um, you can add it to the other arm if you want. Now, breathing has an effect too, so I'll go ahead and hook that back up if I can figure out where it is. Um, it looks like I forgot to remove that stuff. I'll just remove that now. And of course, this is deprecated. I could remove it now, but I'll just leave it there. I'll probably remove it in the next update. So over here on their overlay states, I have this breathing disconnected. This will a little bit, it'll offset the aim, but that's only because the hand is moving up and down. But I think that's more realistic. So, I mean, you don't want it to be perfectly accurate. See, so you can you can see the hands moving up and down now. So, adding that will make it a little offset. It does look like it may be affecting it uh, in a negative way, but that's just because of the way that the uh, breathing makes his hands move. See, right there, it was almost accurate. Yeah, see, so it is pretty accurate. It's just his hands are moving around. Yeah, so. And as you can see, it doesn't make it that much more inaccurate. And it makes it more realistic. If you wanted it to make it more inaccurate, then you can just crank it up. Now his, his hands are moving a lot. Look at that. Yeah, see? So, I'm, I'm going to put that back at 0.25. And that pretty much sums up the video, guys. Uh, I didn't get to the other problems. I'll have to deal with them next weekend. Uh, I spent all my time actually trying to fix those aim offsets. Uh, actually, I, I guess I'll go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll make another video on the aim offset stuff. I'm, I'm not going to cover that in this video. Maybe tomorrow I'll do a video, but I will be doing a video on how I achieved that. That way you guys can replicate it in your own projects. And I'll see you in the next video. All right. So, sorry, guys. So, I did forget to mention that I added that debugger tool and I need to explain that so you guys know how to uh, turn it on and off. So it's in a function in here and that function is being run on the basic projectile function, which is, so if you go to the event graph and you go to the KD weapon add-on logic and you look for this, you'll see the basic projectile. You can go in there. And that's where I'm using it at right there. So I kind of covered this in another video. Uh, this part right here will differ from, oh, well, it depends on your, your weapons really. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing a camera trace and a weapon trace. And then I offer the actual angle de degree between, that's just a straight angle. Um, and then there's the three axis uh, angle. So I'm actually going to 
I'll uh, call that three axis angle. Oh, I already uploaded it. Oh, well. Uh, so in the next update, it'll be called three axis angle. Anyway, uh, no big deal. So if you go down here, you'll only see that. Okay. Well, it looks like I don't, I forgot to add the ability to turn it on and off. I thought I had added that. Okay, so I did not add that. If you want to turn it off, you're just going to have to bypass this here for now. Or you can go in there and add a add a, a, a branch right here and set up a bull so that you can turn it on and off. I thought I'd uh, set that up already, but I already pushed it. So I'll fix that in the next update. Anyway, so if you just uncheck this, then it'll give it to you in the three axis angle. If you check this, it'll be a single angle. So anyway, just thought I'd give you the rundown on that before I uh, posted the video. And I'll see you guys.